I need a place to mount this MSD coil. And it just so happens I've got three vacant holes in the cylinder head of my Hemi. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom aluminum bracket using some dirt cheap tools. All right, first things first. We need some material to mount our coil to. This is quarter inch thick 6061 aluminum. It's easy to machine, it's lightweight, it cuts easy. And the reason I went with quarter inch thick is I want to countersink the mounting bolts into it. Next, we're going to clean all the grease off of the aluminum. And we're doing that so that we can put some dicom on there. This is machinist layout fluid. It comes in two types. You can brush it on or you can spray it on. And what dicom is going to do is give us a good surface for marking our holes. The key to this whole operation is this tool right here. It's called a transfer screw or transfer point. And what it does is it threads into a hole that's already in your car. Now this one here is 3 8 16, which is the same thread size as the holes in the cylinder head of the Hemi. I'm going to thread that into the head, leaving just the pointed part sticking out. Then I'm going to set the aluminum against it, tap it with a hammer, and that will mark the location of the hole on the aluminum, and that tells me where I need to drill the holes in my new bracket. The benefit of all of this is you can use holes that are already in your car, not drill more holes, you know, to mount stuff that you want to put in there. So the key to any man's life is knowing which hole to put the tool into. And this is one of three we're going to use in the Hemi cylinder head to mount my coil bracket. <laughs> so, we've got our aluminum covered in dicom. We're going to set it against the cylinder head, against our transfer points, smack it one time with a hammer, and when we remove it, that's going to give us distinct points where to drill our holes. I drew a hole around the area where our transfer point left a divot. And that's great for marking the hole location, but it's bad for the drill bit because the edges of that will cause the drill bit to walk. So I'm going to run a small file across it to knock the edges off. Now it's smooth and we can drill a hole in the precise location start with, we're going to use this centering drill to find the center of our hole. Then we're going to drill the holes with a 3 8 drill bit. You can go one size overhead if you're worried that your pattern might not be exact. And then we're going to finish with this countersink bit, and that will allow our bolts to sit flush with our aluminum. Now the centering drill bit doesn't need to go all the way through. This is just providing a tapered hole in the beginning of the aluminum to guide the drill bit. Before we drill the hole, I'm going to coat the bit in Tap Magic. This stuff is awesome for saving your drill bits and taps and dies. the reason we used quarter inch thick metal was so we could make that sit perfectly flush. That wouldn't have been possible in 3 16 Cool, right? Way cooler than my Chinese drill press falling apart. You notice a lot of tools in my shop came from China. It's not because I like them. It's just because that's what I can afford. Spent all the money on cool car parts, not the tools. Now comes the fun part. Time to get creative. Got our mounting bolt holes for our cylinder head. Now we need to figure out what we want our bracket to look like. So I'm going to put the coil on there like that. Then I'm going to use a transfer punch to mark all of its mounting holes. And 
then I'm going to take my scribe and I'm going to mark the outline of our coil so that I know the bare minimum how much aluminum I need to leave on this thing before I whittle out all the excess. All right, let's take a minute to talk about cutting tools. Now, a lot of guys that are in their home garage, they're not professionals, they might try to attack this aluminum with, say, a jigsaw or a cutoff wheel. You could do that, sure, but that sucks, and it's slow, and it's dangerous, and it's no fun. Why do that when you can go on Craigslist, and for about 100 or 150 bucks, you can buy this fine Craftsman 12-inch vertical band saw, which is an excellent wood cutting machine that I have never in my life used to cut wood. What I did was I bought this thing, I called up Industrial Blade in Santa Ana, California, and said, hey, I want to take my wood cutting band saw, and I want to cut aluminum with it, and I want to cut curves and circles and all kinds of funky shapes, and they sold me a bunch of blades that are about 3 16 of an inch wide. They cost me about 10 bucks a piece, and those go through this like butter. I'm telling you. Craigslist, 150 bucks. Get yourself one of these. Start making yourself brackets you can be proud of. Our custom coil bracket is cut out. I've already drilled the mounting holes for the MSD coil. Now I'm tapping them. And this particular coil requires 10 30 second threads because it sits on these cool rubber isolators. These will dampen the vibration. And really, that's what enables us to run this coil mounted directly to our engine and not have it die after thousands of miles of uh, driving down the road on solid motor mounts. So we're going to thread all four of these on here. And then, oops, help if you install it the right way. Put in our mounting bolts and this thing's ready to go on the car. Well there it is. A custom coil mount of our own design done here in the garage at home. Best of all we didn't have to pay somebody to do this. We used inexpensive tools and it looks cool. Now you'll see there's some saw marks here in the edges. You can get rid of those by placing this on a buffing wheel. Uh, or if you're like me, you're in a hurry, you just don't care. Leave them. They add some character. And that's it. We'll see you next time. And it uh, came out pretty awesome. Even though, um, yeah, bolted that on upside down. <laughs> you didn't notice, did you? <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just fix that. Put down my light, because I'm the lighting guy, too. I'm a camera person. No lighting person. No mechanic, either. Where's the guy behind the scenes that's supposed to do all this work for me? I figure if we could afford an iPhone, we could afford somebody to hold the flashlight, right? Yeah, now the coil wire will reach.